Those of us who believe there is a God in heaven know full well the spoken words of God will come to pass, as God will prove to the unbeliever and encourage the believer of this world for us to understand it will be his holy word which has been foretold before the beginning of time, and it will be his holy will that will be spread throughout his kingdoms for all his people to adhere to. For some of us who love God, it will be a very awesome, exciting occasion, long awaited since the division had taken place in heaven, breaking up our once loving spiritual family in the heavenly Canaan. Fortunately, for the sake of God's children, the changing of another cleansing era in time will soon be upon us as a people desiring a heartfelt change in direction from worldly to spiritual actions, witnessing a huge blessing that will carry us into a momentous and fulfilling moment in time itself, when one day we will all stand before the eternal living Holy God of all creation. However, there is another dispute within the ranks of believers who for some reason have gotten the wrong message from someone along the way and has decided it is better to live a lie than tell the truth to their children. So they keep silent and live the lie unto death, which is the devil's own purpose, keeping every race of mankind in every country guessing and divided. So hatred will continue to flourish as long as the flesh of man refuses to come before God himself. Though soon his truth will be exposed reconciling the world back to his spiritual truth in ways of living a moral life in unity and love with one another. Yes, their neighbor across the street or across the world. We all agree the lineage timeline was started over again after the great flood of the world. And finally, there was a man God chose to start us back on the right path to salvation through redemption, who became a celebrated servant of the Most High God, being the old faithful partridge, Abraham, and his wife Sarah, and their two children much later, Ishmael and Isaac. Somewhere along the journey back to God after both sons had passed away, it was one of their offspring who decided to change the course of events like Sarah decided to help God fulfill his promise to Abraham and her which we all know wasn't necessary committed sin and it came back to haunt her Abraham and those involved meaning her handmaiden Hagar later Hagar and her son Ishmael was forced to leave the camp going away from the only family in life they ever knew. As time went on, one of the offspring decided to bed with the devil and fall off the spiritual path, being promised who knows what to seed the dark lie and instill his own truth over the people he was governing, broke away from God's fold and started his own version with the vile hatred for God seated deep in the devil's heart changed the course of time for the moment. After a few generations had passed, it became known as the ultimate truth and rule of thumb for some, never to question anyone in authority, probably on pain of death, while many of the poor could not read or write anyway and took things as they had been taught verbally as God's holy truth. The devil was so successful, followed through doing it again and again with other religions. Now we supposedly have three or four heirs who will sit at God's right hand. <laughs> That's too funny, because the last time I checked, he only had one son. Now he's got three or four? How can that be? We know there is only one son of God Almighty, and we also know only God knows who he is. So we need to revisit the connection with fasting and intercessory prayer with fear and trembling unto God himself so we can be sure of his direction and truth which he will tell you if you are willing to open your heart 
stepping out in faith, learning the spiritual answer. Just a little food for thought for those people who demand the truth, yet love living the life of an age-old lie, harboring hatred and vengeance over truth, humility, and compassion against every other religion besides what was taught them to be true. When the moment in time comes and God sends his son back to earth, saving those God wants saved, and discipline those who have ruined their lives doing whatever sins that are keeping them in bondage, will pay a high costly price for being what they have chosen to become. Everything but truthful, merciful, and godly, as his holy word demands, regardless of what the devil desires to keep ahead of the curve as mankind tries to hide this holy truth of God, it will be laid bare for this world to see and recognize like a newborn babe. You will then know who is the righteous holy son of man, and no one will ever be able to deny any further God's perfect will for his people until the millennial reign is over and the devil released one last time. We'll try again to deceive mankind to do his bidding by perpetuating his lies concerning God and his only begotten Son, and many other evil issues will continue to pop up everywhere until the cleansing hour falls on their wicked hearts. The song is entitled, Revisit the Connection, and it goes like this. No one should take anything for granted in this world, especially those people who are teaching you about God and heaven. When things turn around for the worse sometimes, and instead of fixing the problems at hand through prayer, how quickly the devil has us forget, wanting to change the story so it suits his evil intent. We all may have a certain holy Bible we believe in, feeling it's the only truth that guides us on the journey. God asked his children to heartfully pray with fasting and intercessory prayer to receive his holy teacher, the very spiritual life force of God Almighty's existence. A handful know this precious truth we love to defend with all our honor is true as God does not lie to any of his children. When it comes to your life, rest assured you take it seriously if you truly love God and what believer would not. Seeking his heart, can we know what he is wanting from us, not someone else who may be an authority over you now because it is a good possibility. God's truth is not their desire. Is it not so, out of his love for you, God will reveal the sought-out feeling in spiritual truth, instilling that knowledge into you if your heart is searching, open, and pure? This is the only way a man can know for sure as he leads his wife, possible family, having one liberty in life, cherishing the gift uncovered spiritually to eternal life later. Many of us have been led astray thousands of years ago. Certain people wanted to keep all the power and truth, which God never intended to be hidden for themselves. It was those greedy fools running the world who decided to bed with the devil, hiding God's truth, utilizing their own brand of spiritual life, forcing it upon their own people for a time. Once those generations passed away, the truth became a lie because of the hate in Satan's heart for God and Christ, telling the people if they wanted to keep their spoils to do his bidding meant being enslaved into deeper bondage, bringing to prominence a false heir, fabricating a lie concerning God's Son, which is still defended vigorously by candidates of the largest faiths, lay claim. Do your homework living in a resurrected truth of thanksgiving once your prayer is answered by God. 
knowing I'm not the one keeping you in the darkness. Being blessed knowing God's breathed holy word is still alive, working in your soul eternally, is the gift of life he wishes to reestablish by giving us all an honest wake-up call. There is awesome trust and hope for a great light shining out into this world one day soon after the rise and fall of the Antichrist. Sensing and feeling this hidden love come bursting forth at the seams inside your heart if you will be a brave soul and pray, never being deceived by another, falling from grace again, will be at an end until the final grand finale. A man or woman who are called to be by God's Holy Spirit, not man's, checking by testing the laws of man, then God's scripture, digging into the darkness of the demonic realm of worldly thought and ungodly actions, the remnant's firm feet shall beat the tempest. Seeing for ourselves the real reason is in God's written holy word to bless your life, healing all the defiant, bitter, vile hatred and prejudice with racial divide, hurting every country for so long in bondage has been this awful journey, and you know it's true. Until life took a sudden wrong turn with one of Abraham's children, as God loved both sons. Revisit the connection inside your heart of how things were, is what we need to breathe, living a holy truth again. It was one of their offspring, so whose? is the question. Tracking back the lineage, you will uncover the devil's lies. That's it. The end. And God bless you.